Hello and welcome to the third video on this channel here. If you remember, as I lined out in the first video, uh, the series I'm currently working on here is about transforming my static homepage, which is based on HTML and PHP, into a template-based system so I'll be able to make changes more easily and not having to go into every page and, for example, making changes to the navbar or the header. So in the last video you learned or we learned the very basics about GARP. So installing GARP and setting up a very first, very simple task, which just did some copying from the source to the disk folder. So very simple. And yeah, now it's about to do something meaningful, um, getting our hands dirty with some nunjacks. Uh, are not really dirty, it's, it's not so bad. So setting up a first template uh, on which I will base the first pages which we copied the last time so it was a PHP and HTML file so I want to have them use Nunjax templates and then yeah, set up the build system to use Nunjax renderer to translate those pages and the templates into yeah, HTML and PHP files and this was also what I wanted as a first proof of concept to really see if Nunjax also works with PHP because uh, most commonly it's just used with HTML and yeah, PHP, I didn't find much on it. I mean, it should work because Nunjax doesn't care about uh, the file at all. It doesn't care about the content. It's just text and characters and then the Nunjax syntax. So there shouldn't be a problem, but still that's the first proof of concept I want to create. And yeah, we'll now see how to do that. Let's now start by installing the Garb Nunjax renderer extension here which we'll need uh, to define the render task. So I'll just npm install save dev and then gulp nunjax render to install it again as a dev dependency. So same as gulp, we only use it during development. Now let's have a look at the package.json where you now see we have now gulp and gulp nunjax renderer and what we also like to have are some extensions for Visual Studio Code, which do highlighting of the syntax. So if we now start writing Nunjax syntax, uh, we want to have it highlighted and also formatted properly. And you can go here to the extensions and just type Nunjax, which I already did. And there are quite a few extensions. So I installed the Nunjax extension here, which if you enable it, gives you some syntax highlighting and then Nunjax template formatter if you enable this one, you get the files automatically formatted. The next thing we want to do is change our structure here in the source a bit. I will create a folder which I call pages and in there will go our pages. For now, we just have those two here. So I just move them up there and yeah, later all the other pages will all go in there with the structure which we currently have in dist. And the second folder I want to create is templates. And here we'll put our Nunjax templates. Now to go step by step here, what we'll do now, we'll turn those two pages, so the index PHP and the shop HTML into templates. So for simplicity, I'll just copy them into the templates. And also what I want to do, I create a subfolder here, which I call EN because my page has both German and English version and I put the templates for the English version into the EN folder. So let's put it in there. And yeah, now I'll start transforming both of them into templates. And it's two different templates because the index contains a slideshow here. And this slideshow, this is not present in the shop. So since they are, they are different, it's a good idea to have two different templates. And yeah, I'll now start converting them. And first thing I want to do is leave everything in the templates, which will be common to all the derived pages. And what will change, I convert into a block. And this will basically be here, the content or what's in the content. So I'll just select everything, what we have currently here in the content, delete it. And now I create a Nunjax block declaration. And the block declaration is written like this. So you have curly braces, then the percent sign as a start of a block. And then you give it a name. So I call this block content. And then you have here the end block. 
And yeah, this is for now everything I want to do here in this template. So later I'll do more because there's a lot of stuff which we can take out. But remember, we wanted to start simple and just do a proof of concept where we have some yeah, simple Nunjax template for both PHP and an HTML page to see if it works properly. Yeah, and testing this uh, should be done very early in my development here because I did a bit of research and I didn't find much about using Nunjax and PHP together because, I mean, why would you? If you use PHP, you can do a lot of the things anyway with um, PHP code. You have includes, uh, you have for loops, all the stuff and even more than what you can do with Nunjax. So the reason I want to use it is my homepage contains both PHP pages, which have some scripts, for example, for the slideshows, for the loading of the data, and then many HTML pages. And those, again, the PHP and the HTML pages have in common the navigation, the footer, and a lot of other structural parts of a page. So for me, it makes sense to have Nunjax or Nunjax templates to provide this structure, which they have in common, and then still preserve the PHP and HTML files and use PHP on my page to have some dynamic loading of data. Now let's do the same in the shop HTML. So I just copy this over, go to the content and select everything. Then I'll insert the block. And this one here is also called content. What I should do now, because those here, those are templates and not the real pages, I should give them a proper name. So I call this one, the shop content template, and I use the extension NJK for Nunjax. And this one I'll call slideshow content template and also give it Nunjax extension. So it's clear what those represent. If I want to reuse them, uh, they should have a descriptive name. And now it's time to use them. And this is done via an extends declaration. So I go to the index HTML. I can basically delete everything except for the content. So let's go down here to the content. Everything will be removed also up here on the top. Let's go down, and remove everything here. Now let's go again, grab this block here, put it at the top and then the end block, I'll put it at the bottom. And now what's left to do is I have to inherit or extend the slideshow content template. And this is done by a simple extends declaration. So I extend slideshow content layout NJK, which is in the end folder. And I don't have to specify this templates folder because this will be provided later in the GARP script. And yeah, that's everything I have to do here. Nunjax will then take care of resolving this. And I do the same for the shop. So let's just copy this for simplicity. Go to shop. Again, go down to the content. And this time we want to include the content layout. And I also go to the end and remove this part and replace it with an end block. And yeah, that's really all you have to do. This is basically telling Nunjax we use this content layout template and then where the block content is defined, we insert this data. Okay, now it's time to test it. So we have to now define the GARP task to translate this. And I just realized I did a wrong naming here. So here in the include, I called it content layout and down here content template, but it should really be layout because it's already in the templates folder. So all those are templates, but this one is defining a layout. So let's call it appropriately. So now it's time to build out the GARP file. So as a first thing, I have to include the Nunjax render and this was installed as an NPM package so I can include it. And, and now what I have to do, I change the source here because we've now moved everything into the pages. So I have to reference the pages folder here. And now between the source and the dist, I'll insert another pipe. So pipe and this pipe will now be the Nunjax render. So Nunjax render 
and this nunjax render gets an options object and one element of this options object is the path to the templates which is under source templates and now with this setup i should be able to run the guard task and yeah get a resolution of the templates and the pages let's now go here to the dist and look first at the shop html in the dist so the formatting is now a little bit different so this is the formatting from from the template basically but otherwise it looks as if it has worked now let's compare the index.php file which for some reason it doesn't appear here so we have now this index.html file which didn't exist before but what we wanted was the index.php so it seems there's a little problem with how we use the garp script now let's get back and see what went wrong here so we use as input everything which is in the pages so the index.php and the shop html are processed but yeah both get the extension html when they are put into the dist folder and the reason for that is there are a few more options which you can provide here aside from the path and one is the extension and default is html so every file no matter what the original extension was here will get an html extension so this is not going to work because we want to keep php what we can do is we can define a separate task for the php so we'll just make this here for the html files and then let's just copy this and call it nunjax php this one should just deal with the php files and give them the extension .php and now if we call this gulp and we have to define the task name here because the default gulp here if I just call it without any parameters it will again run default but we want to now test the php so let's do this and now if we look here at the diff we see there's the index php now and yeah it looks like this time it worked here we have the formatting which we have in the GARP template. Most of the code is still looking the same. Yeah, it seems it has worked, but what we want to do now, we don't want to call it like this. We want to use the default task and have it run both of those. So first of all, let's just rename this one, nunjax HTML. And then we define a new default task, which will run those two tasks in parallel so let's do gulp task default and gulp parallel and here we just specify nunjax html and nunjax php and now if we just run gulp it will execute both tasks in parallel yeah and this is basically what we wanted now our proof of concept is ready so it works for both html files and php files we have defined a garb task here which does both and in the next video we'll now split things up a bit more and extract different parts from the templates to make the code even more reusable because for now there's so much which is yeah common to both of those for example we still haven't dealt here with the header or with the nav bar so this definitely has to be extracted also the title here and a lot of the metadata, the scripts. So there's a lot of room to improvement. For now, this was just the first proof of concept and a very brief introduction to Nunjax and we're now ready to really use it.